Hey guys, Cameron from Animated Chat Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing Berserk the 2016 version. <sighs> the story revolves around Guts, also known as the Black Swordsman, who seeks refuge from the demonic forces that chase him and Casca. He also seeks vengeance against the man that branded him an unholy sacrifice. Aided only by his titanic strength, skill, and sword, he must fight for his life against his cold destiny, while still having to fight with the rage that might strip him of his humanity. Berserk is a dark and brooding story of an outrageous swordsman and ominous fate where scary monsters, demons, and undead just appear out of nowhere. If you're okay with CGI being the main use of animation, like Agent, then you'll be okay with this anime. However, if you're not, then this is going to be a real struggle for you to watch. You can already feel the dark overtones to this anime from the very beginning. The smell of blood is in the air before the first shedding of actual blood. This is not an anime for the lighthearted. It does have quite graphic scenes and some sexual themes as well. The plot begins with Guts, who has now been branded for death and destined to be hunted by demons until the day he dies. He sets off on a journey to try and defy this gruesome fate, as waves of demons, undead and beasts alike pursue him. Stealing his resolve, he takes up his monstrous blade called Dragon Slayer and vows to exact revenge on the one who cursed him to the life he lives, hunting down the very man he looked up to and called a friend. Along the way, he runs into unlikely allies who join him on his quest and face terrible danger along the way. The characters in this anime are quite intriguing. The main protagonists of the series are Guts, a tall, muscular warrior with short hair, a body full of scars, and a monstrous two-handed weapon called Dragon Slayer. Guts also has a steel prosthetic left arm that is magnetized to help him grip weapons and also conceals a cannon. As the story goes along, you come to understand he is actually a kind and heroic man. Then we have Puck, a wind spirit from Elfhelm. He can only be seen by the open-minded, leaving the devotely religious unable to see him. Puck first meets Guts in a tavern when Guts unintentionally saves him. Finally, we have Casca, or Ellen. She is part of a group called Band of the Hawks, and no, they're not a rock group. She was only second to Guts in terms of swordsmanship within the group. There were a few other characters as well, but they weren't as interesting as these ones. The animation of Berserk is mostly CGI. It takes all of that CGI stuff that I really don't like from other anime and uses it as the main animation for this anime. There is no harmony between the characters and the backgrounds. It's like oil and water, it just doesn't mix. The soundtrack isn't that interesting and is pretty forgettable. I didn't really like the opening, it was jagged and unpolished. The closing was a bit better, but nothing to write home about. The voice acting doesn't work for the scenes, especially the fight scenes, as the intensity just isn't there. Overall, I'm pretty disappointed with the 2016 version of Berserk. It's mostly about the fight scenes and the killing, and the story is just really weak. The characters themselves have no development, and they're very generic. The characters are all pretty useless, with Guts being the only one that seems to do anything. The animation actually hurt me to watch, and was the worst part of this anime. The soundtrack as well, being not that interesting, brought this anime down. Overall, I'm giving the 2016 version of Berserk an F. This is our first F rank, but this anime just got everything wrong. If it maybe fixed up the animation a little bit, I could give it a higher ranking, but this was just an insult to the Berserk series. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe.